the bacteria in the digestive system is extremely important. Uh, most people, when they think about that, they probably think more of digestive and digestive problems. Uh, but it, the research and its continuing research to this day has become more and more involved in it, showing that the bacteria in the in the gut is not only associated with digestive disturbances or digestive problems, it's also linked into your mood and more importantly to your immune system. Uh, about 70% of your immune system uh, resides in the lymphatic tissue that surrounds the lower gut. And that is directly connected all over the body and it's, mo it's modified, it's uh, uh, potentiated by the probiotics or the good bacteria flora that reside in the gut. So it's extremely important. What people are finding with probiotics, there's a lot of changes that go on and there are immediate changes that go on and, and they're, they're very beneficial. But if you wanted to, if you're taking a probiotic, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. Uh, one is you'd want to limit your carbohydrate content, uh, basically the simple carbohydrates because they have no fiber. Uh, complex carbohydrates have a fiber that feeds the, the probiotics or the, the good bacteria in the gut. Uh, so, and also when you consume a lot of carbohydrates in a low fiber diet, the transit time, the time the food takes to move from uh, throughout your body is speeded up. And when it does that, uh, it has less, uh, the, the bacteria, the good bacteria have less uh, potential to grow and pro proliferate in that area. Uh, so uh, that becomes an issue. Another thing you want to be aware of is antibiotic use. Antibiotics are widely overused today, as you well know and antibiotics are over the counter, they're in a lot of the medications that we take, we give to our children, everything else, and, and the research has shown that just one uh, uh, dosage or one uh, uh, regimen of uh, antibiotic use can disrupt the bacteria flora for as long as a year. Uh, it changes the entire structure down there, the entire amount of bacteria, uh, the different kinds of bacteria, and it takes a long time to get that back. In fact, almost every, all drug use will disrupt the bacteria flora. Uh, also, most people don't realize that uh, your water supply makes a huge difference. Chlorinated water, chlorine is put in the water to basically kill pathogens, bacteria uh, specifically. And when you drink chlorinated water, you can actually kill the bacteria down in your system. So if you could change your water to supply, I mean, either to like distilled water or some filtration method that removes the chlorine, you'd be beneficial as well. In the upcoming weeks, I'll be offering more suggestions and tips about the digestive system as well as probiotics. But in the meantime, if you have any questions whatsoever, if you'll just post them on my Facebook page, I'll do my best to answer them.